Hey, what's good everyone? Today is going to be a quick and dirty video and quick and dirty does not mean that this video is going to be short because I do have a couple of things to tell about this rap. Quick and dirty means production wise. No big intro, no nothing, no fancy pants, nothing. This is just straight to the point review. As straight to the point as I can be. <laughs> Shooting inside because the weather outside is crap, it is rainy, it is cold and already last time my fingers were freezing when I was shooting the ACGL Kayano 5 and I couldn't even tie my laces for the on feet so I'd rather stay inside the comfort of my own home. Uh, can wear a t-shirt and uh, be just comfortable all around. So let's get to the review. Uh, as you can tell from the title this is about the Nike Amex One crap sole. It released in a pack, but I'm not gonna review the whole pack. I only got one of them. It has dropped a couple of weeks back, I think um, in the UK exclusively, exclusively on Offspring. And now that it has released internationally in Europe, of course it is not so exclusive anymore. I have no idea why it has released back then on Offspring alone. Maybe they were thinking we don't give a crap about anyone. We're just gonna release the stock that we have. Maybe it was testing waters or who knows what, but the good thing about it is there have been people like Ash Bash Sneakers who has done a review on this pack already. If you want, you can check out his video in the link of the description of my video. So shout out to you, Ash. I really like your channel. You know it. And uh, the other guys who have reviewed this shoe is a few store from Dusseldorf. So shout out to a few as well. And I think I'm the third guy now reviewing this shoe. The other ones are just... Uh, some internet pictures that have been stolen and put together into a little video clip. So, uh, not really worth checking out. Um, like I said, I only got one of the crap souls and that is this one here. The Dark Obsidian Cobalt Tint Ocean Bliss. That is a long name for a simple shoe. The other one is called Golden Wheat Pink and it has the nickname bacon pro because of the pink and brown colors uh, resembling bacon for some people not sure why uh, people associate bacon with it um, anyways this is the one that I got I like the gold wheat one but I think it is a little bit too much fall colored for my taste if I'm buying a fall colorway such as the um, St. Alfred's I did a temple run that I just got. It is uh, beige and green, but it has a light blue pop. I like some pop on my shoe that goes in a completely different direction. I think the uh, the golden wheat pair is a little bit too tonal and pink also being in the same color family as, as the beige and the brown, at least to my understanding. Um, it, I didn't find it that attractive or attractive to, enough to buy. Maybe in the restock that just, yeah, I was contemplating, but on the other end then no. Um, I think this one will do for now. Why I got this one? Because it does remind me a little bit of the Nike Amex One Pata Corduroy. Of course, colors are very different on that one because that one is a little bit more purplish. Um, but the materials used here, especially the corduroy on the, on the mid panels and on the heel, uh, does remind me of that shoe. And, uh, I want to... I want to get into the point of materials used on the shoe, the craftsmanship, and my overall impression. Um, materials are pretty, pretty good on this. I have to say, this is probably one of the best GRs they have released on an Amex One this year. Um, this is a very nice suede on a thick leather. Um, you do get some brush strokes on it, as you can see. And uh, the nice thing is it is so thick. It's great for fall and winter. It's very sturdy. The, uh, the, toe, box does not, the toe box does not have any creases. The edges do not collapse. Nothing as soon as you put your foot inside. And it just feels very premium. I mean, I have seen a lot of Amex ones this year. The watermelons, the curry, uh, the work blue with that bread colorway, and the uh, the snow beach, of course. And I think none of them are as nice as this one. Um, 
This is a very nice corduroy here. This is, I think this is green um, and it's supposed to be the cobalt tint and more green cobalt tints corduroy here on the heel also on the heel you have some burgundy suede and then there's some some colors or some materials that i did not expect on this shoe at all for one color wise um i didn't expect this to be a light blue tint midsole i thought this would be a uh, like a clear white or like an off white um of course i did see the the terry cloth swoosh and I like this terry cloth swoosh quite a bit this swoosh here and the corduroy has caught my attention that's why I really want to have one in hand um, I've seen this uh, the first time it dropped it did catch my interest but I feel I felt like no nah, don't really have to get it it's nice but no nah, not sure if I have to get it but then I saw a pair at sneakiness in Cologne and I thought like, damn, why didn't I grab these? These are pretty nice in hand, actually. So back to the, to the, back to the materials. Um, what I did expect, like I said, midsole, and that this would be a light blue. And actually, the inner liner, the toe material, and I've removed this, and the material on the insole, because this is an Alcantara suede which is a fake suede of course but you can find this kind of Alcantara in cars on the seat and let me get this real close to the cam focus yes this is a very soft and nice material on the outside of the tongue also on the inside of the tongue and on the liner here inside the shoe and this this feels very very premium and uh, it, as you can see on the on the insole, this has very nice brush strokes to it. If you move your fingers over it, uh, same thing that you can feel with real suede. And this just feels so nice. This is like sitting down on an Alcantara seat in a car. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit um, I'm a little bit excited because this is like yeah, if you, if you put your your feet into this this feels very nice in hand already really really like this this feels very premium and i think nike has done a great job with the choice of materials on this one so material wise hey um quality wise i got spared i have a good pair comparably but uh first drop at offspring I've seen pairs, also people telling telling about Bill Quali that there have been really a number of pairs that have been crap, as if someone took the midsole, dipped it in glue, and then just put the put the upper on it randomly. And a lot of people were afraid that the international drop would be the same thing, and people would think, oh, maybe they had more time now, and quality would be a lot better. And everybody was hoping, I was really hoping, and I was hoping even more after people I know have received their pair, and they reported horrible glue stains and also like messed up toe box and stuff like that. Of course, it's very, very uh, subjective and what do you want to live with, but I think Nike has not um, the best reputation for build quality or quality control. I don't even know if they have quality control at all. Maybe it's for them cheaper to to replace a pair than hiring someone who is looking over quality control. I, I really think this is the case. Um, I guess this shoe here is not more than 20 or 30 euros. And it's more expensive to hire a couple people for quality control than just let these go through and replace them. Um, anyways, so seen people with really messed up pairs, and since I ordered mine from Sweden because it has been one of three stores that carry my size, unicorn size 12 and a half, I was really scared that I would have to send it back if this was crap because it's always a discussion with the store. And uh, just a pain in the ass to to get the money back from PayPal, and then you just can do it 12 times a year and something like that. It's really not necessary, and I just want to save myself the trouble of sending it back and stuff. And I have received a pair that is okay. It's not perfect. I have seen some light glue marks here on the on the front of the mudguard, and on the other one, 
on the inside here but it's the color is so dark that it's hard to notice and I don't want to be nitpicking too much um, I think I rather have a pair that does not have any Torvas creasing not too much blue stains than returning it hoping to get a better pair and then getting something completely crap so it's, and actually that way of thinking is, is sad by itself um, Nike should be really really ashamed um, sending stuff out like that to people who are ex who paying good money and expecting a good product and they pay good money and they get something crap um, um, anyway it is what it is don't want to get too much into politics and social criticism about the whole thing because um, there's not the place and time I'm that mine are okay I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna wear the crap out of them pun intended um, and I have the feeling if you ever run this down, you could just give it to a shoemaker and he would grind it down and just replace it with a normal crap outsole. Which I find a very, very attractive thought because uh, I do like to maintain my stuff and not have to throw it away if you can fix it. Yes, um, that's that. Um, Sizing wise, I went with my true size. Uh, that is a 12 and a half. Also, I have a 12 and a half in A6. And uh, but I do feel if you have a very wide foot or high arch, you probably should size up half a size from your true size because they do run narrow here at the tip of the toe box. And I think um, even I could be wearing a 13 without uh, slipping out the shoe without any problems. But uh, 12 and a half is just perfect. And uh, if you wear some thinner socks, these are gonna, are gonna fit a little bit better. You can improve the fit a little bit if you remove the insole because the insole is pretty thick now compared to um, older models. It's a lot thicker than, uh, for example, A6 insole. So if you replace this with a thinner one, you're gonna get a little bit more room. For me, luckily, it's not necessary and I do like the insults here quite a bit with the Alcantara on it and uh, that's that so hope you I <laughs> hope you are in the know now concerning the crap so if you ever want to buy one maybe you have bought one let me know what you think of them let me know what your experience is if you have bought one just write into the comment section below the video and hope you enjoyed the video I hope I'm gonna see you again next time so thanks for watching until then Thank <laughs> you.